the Norfolk City Council is now in session. This meeting is necessary for the council to continue operations of the city and the discharge of its lawful purposes. Committees and responsibilities and is being held pursuant to and in compliance with City of Norfolk Ordinance 47967 as authorized by Virginia Code Section 1542-1413 and will be conducted telephonically and electronically. Notice of this meeting was given to the public on April and May 8, 2020 and in the Virginian Palette, an electronic copy of the agenda was posted on the city's website, May 8, 2020. Please stand for a moment of silence and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Mrs. Doyle? Here. Mrs. Graves? Here. Mrs. Johnson? Here. Mrs. McClellan? Mrs. McClellan? Here. Mr. Riddick? Here. Thank you. Mr. Smeagol? Here. Mr. Thomas? Here. Dr. Alexander? Here. The motion is to dispense with the reading of the minutes of our previous meeting. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. Tonight, we will first take up public hearings, then the consent agenda, which will be voted on in a blocket. If a, any member of the council or the public wishes to discuss an item, it will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. Following the consent agenda, we will then take up the regular agenda items in the order as they appear on the docket. There is no new business tonight. To address the council, you should have registered to speak prior to 7 p.m. Mr. Clerk, PH1. Public hearing one scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments to grant an easement to Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority for an electric lines conduit and approving the terms of the deed of easement. Clerk, call the roll. I have an, off, an ordinance authorizing the granting of an easement to Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority for an electric lines conduit and approving the terms of the deeds of easement. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH2? Public hearing two scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to Quality Holdings 2 LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 2606 Forest Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Clerk, call the roll. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Quality Holdings 2 LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 2606 Barry Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? I have a question. Yes, Ms. Graves. It's to Bernard. I wasn't clear, Bernard, on abstaining because I'm abstaining from two through six. And can I do I have to abstain from each individual one or can I just state that I'm abstaining from all of them? Um, that your abstention for each of them is because uh, you're in the um, uh, real estate business. 
That is my client. That is correct. Correct. And that's true through two through six? Two through six, as well as seven, eight, and nine. Um, th this suffices. So on each one, you just need now say abstain. So, okay, Ms. Graves, a question. Did, on PH2, did you vote in the affirmative on PH2? I haven't voted yet at all. I was well, asking okay. the question. PH2? Uh, the current one. PH2. No, I haven't PH2. voted yet at all. PH2. Okay. All right. That's why I'm asking the question. Yes. Right okay. On. So I abstain. Okay. Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Thank you. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH3? PH3, public hearing scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of a certain parcel of property located at 2604 Barry Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Clerk, call the roll. Evans, ordinance authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of a certain parcel of property located at 2604 Barry Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Abstain. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Uh, I vote aye. Now they have a terrible echo. Okay, sir. I vote, I vote aye. Thank you. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH4. Public hearing for schedule this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 1008 Baltimore Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Other road. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 1008 Baltimore Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Dispensed with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Abstain. Thank you. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH5. Public hearing five scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 3138 Kansas Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Mr. Call the roll. I have an ordinance Mr. authorizing Mayor, the uh, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Thomas. Yes, thank you very much. I have a motion to continue this particular item. Council received an email today from a neighbor of this property who says she's tried to attempt to buy this gem lot over a number of years and the city has not allowed her to do so. I don't know whether any of that's true or not, but I feel as though we ought to at least have staff investigate. If, yes. if the neighbor would like to purchase that property, it's usually something that we prefer. Um, so my motion would be to continue this uh, to whatever date Hubert Bernard recommends or the city manager recommends and then allow staff to look into this, if that's okay. 26, May 26. Motion to continue to May 26. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. Motion is to continue to May 26. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Bernard, what do I do? Abs you should abstain because of the a client relationship. Okay, abstain. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? I, I just wanted to ask real quick, uh, I know on the agenda we haven't voted yet on whether or not we're going to meet on May 26th. I was going to ask during that time, why are we meeting on May 26th? 
uh, that wasn't an originally scheduled meeting and then it's been added. I thought we were going to still vote on the budget next week. Uh, um, I, I'm sorry that the, um, can you hear me okay? Yes. That the proposal to meet on the 26th is so that we can um, um, meet the uh, uh, lottery department's uh, schedule for reviewing the uh, casino uh, operator. Um, that the lottery will commence reviewing um, applications on June the 1st and uh, has to uh, review and approve prior to petitioning so that that date allows us to um, have comfort in meeting the deadlines for the casino legislation. That is that is the reason for the proposed meeting on the 26th and not budget related. And also, Mr. Smeagle, we will also clean up uh, any previous action that we took uh, concerning the casino. Okay. That's been requested I, several times that we take that action. Okay, I appreciate it. Aye. Thank you. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. Uh, page six. Public hearing six scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 713 Forbes Street in accordance with the terms and condition of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Quick, call the rule. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to quality holdings to LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 713 Forbes Street in accordance with the terms and condition of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Are you abstaining? I'm or? sorry. I'm abstaining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Thank you. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. Page seven. Public hearing seven scheduled this uh, day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 890 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert it upon certain conditions. Quick call the roll. Of an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 890 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Abstain. Thank you. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Thank you. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH 8. Public hearing 8 scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 888 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert upon certain conditions. Call roll. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 888 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert upon certain conditions. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Abstain. Thank you. Mrs. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. PH 10. Can we do PH uh, 9 first? Nine? It might. PH 9. <laughs> Public hearing nine scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 886 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right to revert upon certain conditions. Quick call to I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to DT Builders LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 886 Johnson Avenue in accordance with the terms and conditions 
the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain condition. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Abstain. Thank you. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. Ms. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagol. Aye. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Dr. Alexander. Aye. Page 10. Public hearing 10 scheduled this day pursuant to state law to hear comments authorizing the conveyance to Fresh Radio LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 1516 O'Keefe Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Call the roll. I have an ordinance authorizing the conveyance to Fresh Radio LLC of that certain parcel of property located at 1516 O'Keefe Street in accordance with the terms and conditions of the purchase and sale agreement and authorizing the release of the city's right of reverter upon certain conditions. Mm -hmm. Dispensed with the charter requirement for read the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Aye. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. Mrs. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagol. Aye. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Thank you, Dr. Alexander. Aye. Page 11. Public hearing 11 scheduled this day pursuant to state law to grant an easement to Virginia Electric and Power Company over and under a certain portion of 2915 Westminster Avenue in the city of Norfolk and authorizing the city manager to execute the right of way agreement on behalf of the city of Norfolk. Clerk, call the roll. I have an ordinance granting an easement to Virginia Electric and Power Company over and under a certain portion of 2915 Westminster Avenue in the city of Norfolk and authorizing the city manager to execute the right of way agreement on behalf of the city of Norfolk. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Aye. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. Mrs. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagol. Aye. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Dr. Alexander. Aye. Mr. Clerk, C1 through C5 will be considered in a block. Okay, sir. Approve the consent agenda and dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinances twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Aye. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. Mrs. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Thank you. Mr. Spiegel. Aye. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Dr. Alexander. Aye. R1. R1 is an ordinance amending and restating the city's ICMA Retirement Corporation Deferred Compensation Plan and Trust under Section 26 U.S.C. 457 of the Federal Code. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Aye. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. Mrs. McClellan. Aye. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Mr. Smeagol. Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. R2? R2 is an ordinance to extend public vehicle operator's license issued pursuant to Norfolk City Code Section 34.1-44 in response to the state of emergency declaration. Mr. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date. Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? So this, it, in effect, it extends the ability of someone to drive without a valid driver's license because it, it extends the validation of the driver's license due to the governor's order. Is that correct? Uh, no, it's it's not driver's license. It's like taxi permit and chauffeur permits that oh. we um, limit them and permit them. And they have expiration periods that are expiring when the board that renews them is not meeting. And so those that are expiring are getting extended until the end of the emergency or October 1st. Okay. All right. Thank you. Aye. Thank you. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Mrs. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. Aye. R3? R3 is an ordinance amending FY 2020 annual appropriations ordinance number 47636. So as to accept appropriate and authorize the expenditure of grant funds 
up to the sum of $305,477.79 from the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services through the Health Planning Region 5 for the Norfolk Community Services Board to meet ongoing needs to provide crisis stabilization services. Clerk, call the roll. Dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date, Mrs. Doyle? Aye. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Ms. McClellan? Aye. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagle? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Thank you. Dr. Alexander? Aye. R5. R4. R4 first. Um, we have R4 is an ordinance amending the FY 2020 annual appropriations ordinance number 47636. So as to accept, appropriate, and authorize the expenditure of grant funds up to the sum of $112,532.07 from the U.S. Department of Energy for the Southeast Energy Efficiency Fund administered by the Southeastern Energy Efficiency Alliance for the Department of the City Energy Consumption Baseline Assessment and Energy Efficiency Roadmap for City Facilities and Operations. Thank you. <laughs> Disp <laughs> dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date, Mrs. Doyle. So, Alan, what if I said I wanted you to read it twice? <laughs> <laughs> I would do that for you. <laughs> I, 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 I. Thank you. Mrs. Graves? Aye. Mrs. Johnson? Aye. Thank you. Mrs. McClellan? I'm not going to ask you to read it twice, but I am very pleased that the city is continuing its work on our climate action plan, uh, even during our COVID uh, crisis right now. So I vote I am. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Riddick? Aye. Mr. Smeagol? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Dr. Alexander? Aye. Right, I'm going to call it again R4 so you can read it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, R, R5. <laughs> Thank you. R5 is an ordinance approving a lease agreement between Riva Norfolk LLC as landlord and the city of Norfolk as tenant for the lease of space within certain property located at 5505 Robin Hood Road for use as an office space. Dis dispense with the charter requirement for reading the ordinance twice and adopt with the effective date, Mrs. Doyle. Alan, good job. Aye. Mrs. Graves. Aye. Mrs. Johnson. Aye. <laughs> Mrs. McClellan. Aye. Thank you. Mr. Riddick. Aye. Thank you. Mr. Smeagol. Aye. Thank you. Mr. Thomas. Aye. Thank you. And Dr. Alexander. Aye. Right. Mr. Clark, do you have another? That's all I have this evening, sir. Right. Mr. Pitchcoat, do you have anything? I have nothing. Dr. Filer, do you have anything? This meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.